In this video, we're going to cover PoE load testing and multi-gigabit SNR testing. Note that each test pro kit includes two identical handsets. For this type of testing, for PoE load, for multi-gigabit SNR, as well as for network discovery and Wi-Fi testing, each of these handsets may be deployed independently to allow two technicians to perform these tests simultaneously. We'll start with PoE. And once my PoE test screen comes up, I see I'm set for the 90 watt 802.3 BT standard. We also provide testing capability at the 802.3 AT 30 watt, 802.3 AF 15.4, and the UPoE 60 watt. We'll leave this set to 90 watt. We see we have detected the PSE. We see our voltage is 55.46 as reported by the switch. PSE type is 4, PD to, uh, class is 8, and we see that we're running PoE on all four pairs. We also see that the allocated power, or what the switch is advertising, is 71 watts. The real question is, what is the actual power we'll get? In order to do that, we must put this under load. We'll click the lightning bolt in the lower right, which will send a load demand request to the switch. We see that our voltage comes back a little lower. It's at 51, and we see our real power is not 71 watts as advertised in the allocated power. It is 65.45 watts. This is very useful information when trying to troubleshoot PoE problems. If a device is not working, it might be the device, it might be the cable, it might be the patch cord between the PoE switch and the patch panel, or it might be the switch itself. Using Test Pro from out where the device connects to the network, we can test back into the network and look for these kind of problems and isolate where the problem exists along the link. Additionally, there is an external load function, and by using an external load on the Test Pro connected to the Test Pro ADNet cable adapters banana jacks, we can watch a continuous load test and observe and monitor the signal to noise ratio over time on all four pairs. This is also very useful for looking for intermittent problems with networks where you have Ethernet or PoE dropout issues. Next, we'll look at multi gigabit Ethernet and SNR testing. Essentially, the SNR test over multi-gigabit Ethernet is a real-world application test of the effects of alien crosstalk on the cable under test. We'll start with our project setup, and we'll go in and edit our limits. When we look at the test limits, we can turn on and off any of these speeds. In the multi-gigabit test, we'll be testing network speeds for everything we've checked, and then we'll also test 2.5, 5 gig, and 10 gig for signal to noise ratio. Note that if you need to do SNR tests for 1 gig and below, they can be accomplished via the side Ethernet port on the Test Pro handset. We'll leave all of these checked. You can also set your SNR limit. We'll leave them at zero for now. I'll hit my home button. We'll go into our multi-gig test, and I'm going to run an auto test. Once our auto test is complete, we see the results of the test, including a wire map. We see our performance for 10 gig, 5 gig, and 2.5. If we had an issue with any of these speeds, we can look at a by pair performance for signal to noise ratio by each pair. If we look at the 100 meg, 1 gig tab, we see that we connected at both of those speeds. Again, if you need to do SNR testing for 1 gig and, and 100 meg, you can do these through the side Ethernet port. And then we have a PoE tab where we've also done a real power test under load for the PoE. And this can be saved just like you would save a certification test.
Additional functionality in the multi-gig and PoE test under expert tools will allow you to set the main unit up for packet generation and we can set the remote unit for loopback and then we commence our packet generation test. The multi-gigabit Ethernet and PoE test functionality can help with troubleshooting a network as well as provide additional revenue streams for the contractor to give customers additional information about their network in a live network setting. Thanks for your time.